Another one under our belts, eh, Dan? Aye, we did the right thing when we left Arizona. We work for a government department and they contract out embassy jobs all over the world. O.E.D. That's the name of the department Gus and his crew's working for. Sometimes, Mr. Hoop, it's necessary for the intelligence community to recruit civilians. Are you talking about all of us? Or just me? I mean you. I'd missed our sessions being in Russia. I'd lost all the coping tools to help me. We can't accept Mr. Osborne's application because of his criminal record. Looks to me like your mind is already made up. I cannot believe this of you, Dennis. If Oz doesn't go, the whole team doesn't go. It's Heather. Double O Geordie is becoming a pain in the arse. You made the list, Mr. Osborne. You're going to Cuba. Is this going in your grudge bank, Oz? Because I'm your oldest friend. Inside these four walls is British soil. St. Petersburg was just the same as this, wasn't it? Same picture of Her Majesty. Same bickies. Same smell. Must be standard issue furniture polish. Did you bring the papers? What papers? The English papers. We left them on the plane. Oh, shit. Somebody should have marked your card. On arrival at a foreign posting, never leave the newspaper on the bloody plane. Well, what do you want to know, lad? You castle hammer jolt and athletic. Obviously, Pai's one in the manual, that. Because I imagine it to be a very incestuous place in Embassy. People cocoon in their little bit of Britain with their custard creams and their jars of marmite. Gentlemen, welcome to Havana. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Gary Turnbull, senior management officer. I'll keep this brief. I'm sure you're all shagged after the flight. And oodles of bump, do's and don'ts, why's and what's. You've probably been through most of it in Croydon. Yeah. <coughs> I must stress to you that you are representatives of Her Majesty's government, as much as I am or anyone else in this embassy, right up to His Excellency the Ambassador. As such, you enjoy our protection. If you embarrass us, we'll come down on you like a ton of bricks. A very appropriate metaphor, Mr. Terrible. Look, I expect the odd piss up and punch up, but Cuba is a sensitive posting. Strained relations with the Yanks, only 90 miles to the flesh pots of Miami. Whoa, can we get over there for weekends? Only if you steal a fishing boat. <laughs> Havana is unique. It has 144 embassies, more than any other country in the world. Each one bursting at the seams with so-called attaches, whose real job is the gathering of information which makes foreign workers vulnerable and a potential security risk. Any questions? Is it possible I could phone my wife? The switchboard says your number's engaged. They'll keep trying. All right. Thanks very much. You're never like other. Yeah, I never hope. I'm Prue Scott Johns. I've been assigned to you. Oh. I didn't expect to meet you so quickly. Well, I couldn't very well meet you before you got here. And you've just got here. No, oh, of course. Sorry, yeah. So, you work with Heather? Heather? I don't think I know a Heather. Except a girl I was at school with. Hated her. <laughs> but you said you were assigned to me? To all of you. Oh. I'm sort of house matron. Bring all your problems to me. Financial, legal, domestic. If it's a sexually transmitted problem, see the dog. 
<laughs> right, I'll tell the lot. Did you bring the English papers? No, sorry. I left them on the plane. Oh, I have still got Hello magazine. What's on the cover? Jerry Hall's new man. Oh, I have that. We'll keep trying. Who's in charge? Him. Evan Trasker. Dennis Patterson. Hello, I'm your works officer. You'll be working to me. Oh, great. Right. Is this the gig? Yeah. Ambassador's new residence. Bit of deco on top of Spanish colonial. That's Havana. They built everything in this piss heavy stone. You'll have to gut the whole house. I'll show you the plans. Yeah, I gather we're all sleeping on the site. Is there somewhere where the lads can drop the bags? Yeah, over there. I'll see you in a minute. You tell that now. Step up. This is not a hut. Chicken. That's the first. Probably what dinner now. If we can catch the bugger. <laughs> Once it's finished, it's a big job, mate. Do with some more help. There'll be Cubans clearing the gardens and helping you with some labouring and that, but every time they come into the house, you keep your eye on them. Yeah. What for? Bugs. Bugs? What's, what sort of bug? Bugs, like? Electronic surveillance. Oh, right, right, I'm with you. Yeah, there's a weird sort of setup here because of security. You know, for instance, the embassy has to apply locally for planning permission, just like anyone else. So they submit one set of plans. This is a second set. Ours. Like two sets of books for the VAT, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't know about that. All I do know is that these must not fall into the wrong hands. Right. So, uh -huh. every night. We put them in here. Get. Two keys. One for me. One for you. There was a lizard in the shower. Yeah, he was there when I took mine. They're all over the place. Well, we are in the tropics, aren't we? There'll be all sorts of things that creep up on you. There's some mosquitoes. There's no mosquito nets on the beds. That doesn't answer me question. Because them bastards love me. Where's all this lot from? Well, there's a load of food and all. I think that prune must have stopped us up. Wouldn't be that, Trasker. Didn't like the look of him. Ah, yeah, well, he's a gaffer, isn't he? Not used to gaffers, are we? Not for a while. Hey. Oh, hey, I murdered one of them, eh? Bridge. Oh, hey. So what's this place like then? Two bugs, two showers, and a bath with a neat plug. Three bedrooms. Hmm. Who am I with? Not me. Then. Well, what about you coming with me and the younger man? I can go with Barry and uh, Neville and Moxie can go in there. Right, sort of. You seen the plans yet, Dan? Yeah, right, now listen, right? There's two sets of plans. There's an official set, a one for our eyes only, in there. Uh... Roger Moore. What? He was in that one. Moxie? Yeah, yeah, I know. Bollocks. Then, is that because of security and all that? 
Exactly, that's what I'm saying, right? Now, we've got to keep our eyes peeled for strangers, lock these plans in the safe every night with all of our valuables, OK? Oh, what valuables? Barry's got that fancy Cartier watch. Where is Barry? I had that dream again. You know, the one where I'm in my house and I discover rooms I didn't know about. They're massive. And one's a ballroom. Well, I suppose you say that's Freudian. And they're all in a terrible state. It seems to me that that represents the problems I've never dealt with, you know, the, the ones that I've swept under the carpet. Buddy, we're all going to head into town, you fancy it? Of course, obviously, the, the house is, you know, the one we share together, isn't it? And, and the ballroom, well, that's when we had the world, isn't it? But the other stuff, not knowing which room to go into, does that mean I'm lost? That I'm lost without her? Buddy! Sorry, but it's just do we get two cabs or one? Look, I'm not going, all right. I've got jet lag and I'm going to bed. All right, that's all I wanted to know. All right. Oh. Now, where was I? Oh, I've lost my drift now. Thank you! Your men's settled then, all right? They're not my men. My men, the ones I asked for, are in Prague. They could have been here the start of next week. We've been through this, Evan. I don't know these cowboys. They've never worked for the OED before. That's not without precedent. On a Category 1 posting? How come they managed to queue up all the other applicants? Track record. Apparently this bridge job was a monumental achievement rivalling any in the history of British construction. Who said that? They did. On their application. <laughs> oh, lighten up, Evan. Pacino was here, you know. Just before the revolution, you could hear the gunfire in the hills. What are you talking about, Al Pacino? Godfather Part 2, Nev. Remember? The mob ran everything down here. Prostitution, gambling, the lot. And Michael Corley only wanted a piece of it. How many times you watched that film? Enough to be on Mastermind Bomb. I suppose you're going to tell me you've never heard of the Godfather, are you? It ain't my fault if I'm young and you lot are all ancient and arthritic, is it? Hey, hey. I'll paint your paper that one later. Igres, you want to see ya? When in Rome, Jews and Germans do. Very good. Huh? Twenty dollars a lot. Uh, Twenty. Okay. Twenty, my boss. Okay, okay. Uh, Twenty dollars. I'll tell you what, I don't want any cigars, but I like you. Can I buy the hat? Sugar? Lime juicy? Yerba buena? Lime minty? Ice? Run? Cuban run? Soda? And then all crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. It's a mojito. Hemingway favorite drink. Hemingway? Aye. I'll bet he was in here every night as well, was he? Si, sí, senor. Many times. I'll bet they named the streets after him as well. Aye. I'll bet if we get a bit peckish, we'll be able to order a Hemingway burger. To us. Aye. Ah, oh, you're doing it, Nick. Oh, oh. <coughs> No good? That is good, oh, Louis. Aye, aye. Aye. <laughs> That'll do bomber nicely. Ah, oh, I like it. Hey, amigo. Si, sí, senor. What's happening next door? Aye, plenty to do. -do. Live music. Dance. Rumba. Tango. I reckon we should check that out. What do you think, lads? I don't see many Geordies tangoing. There's always a first, Nev. Dos cube libre, por favor. Si. Enseguida, señor, vengo. What 
Put your shampoo back in your room, then. Far thing. Thanks. What you gonna have the lads tonight? Ah, I didn't fancy it. A lot of frost coming from us, you know. Well, it's not your fault. They knocked him off the list, is it? I mean, he had a record, didn't they? Yeah, that's not the point, man. See, he thinks I, he thinks I didn't stand up for him. I mean, if he's got that set in his mind, I mean, facts are irrelevant. Well, it's very unfortunate. I mean, you and him go back longer than any of us. Well, it was you and him persuaded me to come. They told me we were like family. I mean, that was the kicker. Yeah. And now I find I'm with a dysfunctional family in Cuba, and my therapist is in Solihull. Lovely. <laughs> Never had anything like this on come dancing. On what? Before your time. Monday night it was on. Regular routine for Bummer and the wife. Pop, fish and chips and Kelly watching all those swirling sequins. I like a dance where you can get a hold of the girl instead of like cavorting around the floor three foot away from her. I won a jiving contest once. Oh, where was this? Butlins, Wales. The one you can't pronounce. What a prize. <laughs> a plaque. Bye, never done. What do you mean, never? Well, I mean, never. Never have. Never will. You must have danced at your wedding. No, I just got blasted. <laughs> no, but no. The language of her body is far more eloquent than words. Where's your chance there, Ross? First night in the banner, you could have plundered a local. Not bullet? What's this dance call? The Yambu. Put me down for lessons. Should have been there last night then, see Junior there. Oh, yeah, it was all listen. Were you dancing with this Cuban dude? Yeah. She was totally out of it. Yeah, it was unbelievable. They were practically having sex. Yeah. She was an older woman, you know, mature. Oh, too old for you, half paint. Yeah, well, she didn't think so. Why well, did they come with this shit? Well, of course it didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she just disappeared. No phone number, nothing. I don't even know her name. If you've finished recounting your sexual exploits, maybe we could make a start? Yes. Right. Rick, why don't you do the honours, lads? Oh, may I, Dennis? Ah, why not, buddy? Come on. No, no, this is a good man, dirty. Right. What do you mean? What do you do, then? Oh, well, 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 in Russia... I was more liaison with the client. On the bridge job, admin and purchasing, you see. He had my own company then, yeah. Import-export. Big house in the Midlands, drive a Bentley. Yeah, I was quite the bon vivant. Buddy, in fact, my, my, Buddy, my Mr. Trask, doesn't need to know this, man. Nah, nah, of course he doesn't. Nah. Right, come on, off your garments, son. Right, OK, stand back. <laughs> Go for it, Barry. Go on, Tila. Sure it'll all come back to me. Like having sex with a fish on a bicycle. <laughs> ah, oh, shit! Ah.
for a couple of hours. It's such bad luck. Gosh, you've done a lot already. Have you got everything you need in the house? Yeah, friend. Right, thanks. Yeah, cool. great. Could have done with some power tools. <laughs> this is Rosa. Hi, Hi Fred. Hola, oh, Rosa. Hola, bienvenidos. <laughs> she'll, she'll cook and clean for you and give her whatever laundry you've got. Oh, give me boxes. Hey, <laughs> shut up, you. <laughs> Tonight you're invited to the embassy. It's semi-formal, so uh, you'll have to wear a tie. It's a reception for the Cuban National Ballet Company. Oh, why would they want us there? Well, it always helps have a few extra Brits around to swell the numbers. It's a chance for you to get to know everyone at the embassy. Well, a darts match would have done that, but... <laughs> Drinks and things on sticks, six o'clock. Well, I've got no intention of spending a precious night on a company of puffs wearing tights. Oz! What? We've just arrived here. It's expected, you know? Dennis, piss up a rope. We'll discuss this later, all right? I'm by me. Right, it's uh, six o'clock. Now, I've said that. We'll send the minibus. Yeah. You can't say they don't look after us, eh? Cook our scrum, do our laundry, send the driver. Luxury. Oz, can I have a word? You said later. All right, well, later is now. You remember when we first met? Nah. It was on that hosen estate in Cromlinton. It was bedlink, actually. Oh, so you don't remember? Well, vaguely. You turned up on spec, right, looking for a job, and the foreman was away, so I hired you. When he came back, he was going to give you the sack. Was he? Yeah. Why? Right. Your mouth, mostly. Also, you tried to chin him. That might have had something to do with it. Mm. And I stood up for you, right? I said, this horse might be a bit of a lunatic. You know, but he lays more bricks in three days than most of us do in five. Well, that's true. That's not what I'm talking about, man. Right? Then the German gig came up, right? I spent three days traipsing every pub in Wall's End looking for your ass. <laughs> so what are you trying to tell us, like? That I owe this glittering career to you? No, I'm saying I've always wanted you on my team. Well, I'm on your team. I'm here, aren't you? What's your problem? What's the problem? The problem is this ridiculous situation you've made between you and me. Well, that's between you and me. It's got nothing to do with anybody else. Of course it has, man. How it, it affects all of us, right? We'll live together. We'll work together, right? We'll share two bugs between us. All right, all right. If it means that much to you, I'll come to your bally dancers, do, all right? I'll wear a tie and comb me hair, all right? Look, that's not what this is about. You know that. Look, then. You might want me on your team now, but the only reason I'm here is because of Neville, and you know that. I'm going back to work. Ah, oh, bollocks. Hello, Mr. Peterson. Hello. So glad you came. Even me, I did. Good evening. How's Barry? Oh, he's a bit groggy. Uh, we didn't really meet properly the other day. Stuart Sherman, Assistant Cultural Attaché. Oh, I'm Neville. Yes, I know, and uh, we have something in common. We do? We do. And it might surprise you. Is it somebody called Heather? Heather? No, no, I, I don't know any Heathers. What then? My wife's maiden name is Hope. Her family are from Hexham. She thinks that maybe you're related. Darling. Neville Hope. Oh, oh, I do. Oh, yeah, I personally like the mix of that bunch. Well, there's not many shapely legs in here. <laughs> the ballet company's late. There's a phrase in Latin America, tiempo inglés, English time. If you say seven o'clock tiempo inglés, it means on the dot. Someone must have forgotten. So, who is everyone? Fellow diplomats. We all go to each other's dues. Thank you. That's why it's nice to have some fresh faces. Uh, what do we say to people if they ask us what we do? Just say your attaches. Building attaches? I like that. <laughs> do circulate. Avoid the Belgians. Circulate? I'll do the circuit bombing coming. Why not? Well, I don't think we're going to stick this for long, eh? Oh, Chuck a couple of peanuts, do my next, and then leg it to the wolf top. Yeah, we could go back to that place we were at last night, couldn't we? So, you don't know any of the Hexham Hopes? No, well, like I say, I was born in Benoit. 
Don't you have an aunt in Whitney Bay, Joan? Oh, yes, Joan the Hope. Doesn't ring a bell. He mustn't monopolise Neville Stewart. Lots of people want to meet him. Gold medal balls. Thought you need a rescue. So, who wants to meet me? No one. Well, me, I suppose. Tarquin Pierce, press liaison. Heather sends her love. Oh, Heather? You mean you're my contact? Something like that, yes. Nobody told us. I thought there'd be a, a password or something. What, the geese fly at midnight sort of thing? You know what I mean. It's just nobody briefed us even. Look, we won't talk on the premises. Let's have a drink <laughs> tomorrow at this place. <laughs> ah, quarter ballet has arrived. Very tasty totty. Hello, I think I'll say hello. Hello, hola, hola. I'm Tina, Tina McFadden. I work in the Chancery. Oh, I'm Neville. Hi. So, um, you having a nice time? Well, it's a bit weird. Not really my scene. Uh -huh. I saw you talking to Tarkin. Oh, I yes. Seems a bit of a character. <laughs> He's a shit. Oh? A total shit. Just so you know. Failure, do come. Sorry, Tom. I'd like to meet Jamie Nelly Barr. Nelly used to be a dancer in London. Yes, professional. Very old. You speak English? A little. We toured England. Ah! Did you get as far as Newcastle? No, um... Edinburgh. For a festival? Ah! Well, that's in Scotland, Ted, but, uh, Just up the road, though. It was cold. In August. Oh, I can't believe it. Why do I hear? Because I was invited. No, why do I hear in Cuba? Oh! You do not look like, um, diplomatico. Do I not? What do I look like? Hmm. These hands are used to work. That is what you do, huh? Mm hmm You work with these hands. That's right, Pat. Mm -hmm. And you can hold on to them for as long as you like. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I am Ophelia. Ophelia. So what do you do for the bally, Ophelia? Are you like one of the leading hoofers? Please. You know, like a star turn. Oh, yes, I am first dancer. Prima ballerina. Ah! I once backed a horse called Prima Ballerina. Fell at the first fence, it ain't tree the foul like it flop. Do you like the ballet? Oh, I've never been. It's true. Always wanted to, mind. Well, you must go. Anytime. Hey, uh, where you been? First drink of the night. Good to hell. It's the lady in blue. Lady in blue? Yeah, you know, the one who was all over you on the dance floor last night. Oh, yeah. A bit more demure than I remember. Maybe last night she threw off the restraints of protocol and revealed her latent sensuality. But I love. Shall we leave you two alone? Nah. Oh, my God. This is embarrassing. You're English. I don't drink, you see. Well, not normally. No, this is the Perrier. Only last night it was my friend's birthday and she gave me a daiquiri. Just the one. I don't know, I suppose I... Threw off the restraints of protocol? I don't often get a chance to dance, and I love to dance. No one could see that, Pet. I thought you were Cuban. I thought you were Cuban. Oh, God, this is so embarrassing. I wouldn't worry about it. No, embarrassing. When are we going to see your mate back on the job? Tomorrow. Don't worry, you haven't lost any ground. 
My word. What? Well, that woman the boys are talking to, she's gone from the club last night. Dancing up a storm, she was. What's she doing in here? I don't know. Maybe she's the wife of the Chilean ambassador. Boys, it'd be really great if we could keep this to ourselves, yeah? Look, it's a small world, and uh, the embassy, it can be a bit bitchy, Look, you know? Listen, don't worry about it, love. You had a good time, right? What's wrong with that? And none of us are going to say nothing. Drink? I see you've met my wife. It's the wife I feel sorry for. That Trasker will be giving us some serious stick right now. I feel sorry when I'm being married to the prick. Well, look, it's not going to help our situation, you know. He's our gaffer. He thinks we're laughing behind his back. I mean, you think he's going to live with that? Yeah, but, I mean, he can't sack us just because his wife's a bit of a raver. Oh, she isn't, man. She's just a canny lass that can't hold a daiquiri. Oh, <laughs> she did a make chasing on half paint slug. <laughs> I said she was saying a rampant nymphomania. It was only a playful nibble. Uh, well, I blame you for dancing with her in the first place. Uh, do me a favour, she asked me. Oh, aye, but you had to go and strut your thing, didn't you? And she must be at least 15 years older than you. About the same age difference as you and the ballerina you was chatting up. Oh, aye, yeah, I clocked here. Eh? Cut above the boilers you usually bang, eh, Oz? Bollocks. Jet lag. What about you? Time difference. I'm calling me shrink at six. <laughs> An hour on your mobile from Cuba. What's that gun cost? Bloody fortune. Well, need the continuity, you see, Oz. I really felt like we were getting somewhere when I left. Well, from what I heard the other day, you were the one who was doing most of the talking. Which non directive therapy, you say? She don't give me any feedback. Now, the point is to encourage the patient to talk more and more frankly and to gain total confidence in a non-threatening environment and eventually to diagnose and resolve his own conflicts. And what's that costing you? 100 quid an hour? <laughs> what a bloody rip-off. She could be doing a crossword while you're yakking of her. Or knitting a cardigan. You're probably right. But I need to aerate, you say. Aerate? You'll asphyxiate when you get your bloody phone bill. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. It's a big job, no? Yeah. <laughs> I am Angel. He's Raymond. Raymond now speak English. That's okay, mate. Neither do these three. They're Geordies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you learn yours? I worked in a hotel one time. In bar. Ah! Well, you'll be able to tell us where we should be drinking then. Where's the hot spot? Okay. You mean senoritas? Ha, 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 si. <laughs> Raymond has four sisters. <laughs> si? Yeah, they're off limits. <laughs> oh, laughing gas. Morning, Mr. Trasca. What did they want? We're just being sociable. What did I tell you, Dennis? Oh, yeah, I did mention, lads, you know, we mustn't get too pally late. All right? The labourers, man, Dennis. They're not up to anything. Well, we don't know that, do we? You know, one of them spoke good English, like. You're paranoid, lad. Your boss is right. You listen to him. Listen, man, can I have a word? I just wanted to say something. I just wanted to say, I hope you don't get any mixed signals about what went down the other night, you know? It was just, just a dance, you know? People letting their hair down, having a bit of fun, nothing else. I mean, I, I don't even know your wife's name. I'm sure she's a very nice lady. The subject is closed.
I, I'm, I've got to meet somebody. Uh, not now, eh? <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, sorry if I'm a bit late. Only packed up work half an hour ago. Don't worry about it. Can I beer? Oh, aye. That'll go down well, thanks. Una cristal, por favor. Paul Neville. There are worse places in the world to be. How do you like Havana? I haven't really seen that much of it yet. I love this city. I love the smell, I love the music. The women. I mean, look at that one. Gorgeous. Of course, by the time she's 25, she'll have twice as big an arse. Rice and beans every day could do that to a girl. Why am I here? You're not working for you lot. Havana is so intel intense, it's practically impossible to remain covert. Everyone's either known or blown. But not you, Neville. What about yourself? Probably. The very spooks are watching on a long lens. It'll hardly raise alarm bells when I'm having a beer with a brickie. No, I'm interviewing you for the embassy rag I edit. My life in concrete, etc. Should swell the circulation. Okay, so I'm just a, a gadget. Beyond suspicion, but what exactly do I have to do? Nothing. Nothing? Well, something may occur. But until then, just sit back, chill out, bank your paycheck. I feel, I feel such a fraud. God knows what the lads would say if they knew I was making a few bob on the side. Which one of them upset Traska? I don't think he likes any of us very much. Why? He sent a fax to Croydon today, requesting your recall, not up to snuff, incompetent, blah, blah, blah. Is this true? Certainly not. But in two days, we've virtually cleared the whole ground floor. This is about his wife. We ran across her in some nightclub. The lovely Erica. Is that her name? Yeah, the marriage has been shaky since Sierra Leone. Shouldn't think it'll survive the Caribbean. How do you know all this? Neville, please. Basilo, que rico basilo. Cha, cha, cha. Que rico cha, cha, cha. Basilo, que rico basilo. Cha, cha, cha. Que rico cha, cha, cha. What's going on here? It's the Bali bomb. Bloody hell, it's Oz. Hey, stop, stop. Oz? What? Where are you going? Where do you think I'm getting in here? It's the Bali Oz. An album, I can't read. Well, not the Spanish, you can't. I thought you might be making a mistake. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, you know, you. The Bally. You ever been to a theatre before? Aye, last month. Bad company in Newcastle City Hall. No knob off, will you? So what's on, then? Nutcracker. I'll crack your nut, Moxie, if you didn't sling your hook. Come here, Bob. There's something going on there, I know it. Come on, let's go and get a drink. Still see you that eye patch, Barry. You should keep it. it. Makes you look rakish. What do you mean, a certain je ne sais quoi? What's that mean? I don't know what. Well, if you don't know, how am I supposed to know? Uh, it's an expression, you nincompo. It means a certain elusiveness, something you can't quite put your finger on. Not sure I want to. Yeah. Right, Nev, what do you want? Oh, I'll have a call. Louis, you want to serve up, for favor? Enseguida, no hay problema. Hey, I've just heard something. What? It's not good. What's not good? Ah, Trasker. He's trying to get us all sacked. He sent a fax to the OED. Oh, that's charming. He never liked us the moment he set eyes on us, did he? How do you hear this? I bumped into somebody at the uh, embassy. Who? Oh. Just this lass. Did you pull last night? Is that where you've been, having a crafty cocktail? I met her in the street. To service us, senor. Got it. Well, why would she tell you, I wonder? I suppose because she likes us. Nobody knows us. We're only that do half an hour. Two drinks and a sausage on a stick. Whatever. Let's just stick to the facts. The 
facts or the facts? Uh, aye, the facts. Look, if he gets his way, we'll be on the plane home this week. Well, that's totally unfair, isn't it? I mean, it's just a vindictive vendetta. From the sounds of it, she's a deeply unhappy woman. She needs help. Well, I could suggest somebody, but uh, Solly Howell's a bit of a heart from Havana. You should have a word with him, Dennis. Mm. No, you can't. We're not supposed to know about it. Bloody hell. There's always something, isn't there? Some hurdle we have to surmount. Where's us? Ballet. No, not really. you wanted me to look out for? The, uh, the reply to Trasker? And? Well, they say his assessment was premature. The Bridge North people are highly recommended with the excellent credentials. Thank you, Tina. OK. So, uh, when are we going to wait for that drink? Soon. I said that a month ago. I've been out to my eyes. <laughs> You're shit. Fly at midnight. No. Don't take the piss, okay? Are you sure? Great. Hey, lads! We've got a reprieve. Croydon's back us up. Oh. Oh. Well, that'll put a blue lamp up Trasker's kilt. Eh, uh, where'd you hear this from, Nev? Your embassy skirt. Uh, ah, yeah. What's that name, Nev? What's the matter what her name is? Hey, he's a sly one. Keeping this one to himself. Look, piss off, Mox. <laughs> Look, things are gonna get very iffy in our Trasker still around, so we'll let the box. Very clever, lads, all right? Bollocks. What? Well, why should we walk on eggshells around that bastard? Huh? We should let him know that we know what he did. And we know the real reason and all. Yeah, because of the crotch rubbing half pain gave his wife. Look, it's pointless antagonizing the man, you know. He's still the gaffer. He can stir up a shit storm if he wants to. Right, you all in den, how you sir? Right. Sad though, eh? What's sad though? Well, I was just thinking of a time when you had some backbone. What's then? Siesta time. 40 minute lunch break. 
four minutes to go. Day one. First minute of the job. One of them swings a pick, gets a chunk of plaster and his eye ends up in hospital. Is he all right? Oh, yeah, he's all right, yeah. Just he's going to have to be carried by the others, that's all. You still shouldn't have sent that fax without talking to me first. Listen, Gary, I'm the one on the site. I'm the one who knows what goes on. You've been gunning for those guys since they got here. Is there something I don't know? Make it work, Evan, because they're staying. Push it, Paul. No seas tan serio. I was on a tennis court last night. Hemi dreams. Which is peculiar because I've never played tennis in my life. I hardly ever watch it either. Except when that other corner Kai was playing. <laughs> Russian again, you see, I can't keep away. That was bizarre. The court, well, it, was, it was like an obstacle course. It craters and shell holes. It was like a Baghdad bombsite. Just another one of those dreams of total futility and frustration, I suppose. Fueled by my inherent sense of. You're not listening, are you? What? You're not listening to me? You haven't heard a word I've said, have you? Well, I don't have to, buddy, man. Do it. I'm your aerator. Oh, no. It's, uh, what did you call it? Non... -pre Directive. Directive therapy. Aye. Yeah, well, you, you don't have to say anything, but you could nod your head from time to time. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. It just... I had something personal on my own mind there, that was all. The ballerina. Aye. Uh. She's called Ophelia Ortiz. I went to see her tonight, but I bottled it. Well, she's... She's class buddy, you know. Beautiful. Talented. Way out of my league. <laughs> oh, my kid. But... Yeah. It's really doing me pudding, you know. I'm... Uh Conflicted? Why? Huh? Because you know what I'm like with women as a rule. Whip it out, stick it in, give it a wipe, and then oot on the drink with the lads. Mm. But this... Her... Oh. This goes no further, man. No, go stop, no, no. Um, talk more about your attitude to women. Uh, How'd you feel about your mother? Where are the plants? What? Where are the plants? They're not in here. Must be, man. I put them in there last night. When? What do you mean, when? Same as normal, you know, as soon as we knocked off work. What about the rest of your bunch? Were they taking them? You're joking, aren't you? What are you saying? I'm saying this is a serious situation. I'm calling security. OK, I'll do upstairs. You do down here. No, 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 no. no. Now, listen to me, listen to me. Don't they I mean, why would anyone want to nick these plans anyway? For the layout, man. It could be sold, couldn't it? Me too. Take your pick. Russians, Chinese, the Cubans. Well, the Brits are as bad as anybody. I mean, they pump other people's embassies, don't they? It's just all part of the game, man. You sure you were the last person to see them? I told you, yes. And you didn't bring them over here? For what? Wrap me beard up in them. 
Hey, they won't get sarcastic with me, Dennis. None of us boys, is ever boys, on them. Please, this isn't helping, you know. Ah. You two have been at loggerheads with each other since you've been here. Well, that's right. Dennis says he locked them up. Dennis locked them up. Listen, I don't think Angel or Ramon did it, do you? Well, no one knows what to think. And none of us are pointing any fingers, OK? Seem decent enough blokes. I know, just like us. they got families to feed. Yeah, of course they have. But maybe they're not shit shovelers. Maybe it's a cunning subterfuge. Maybe they're buggers. Bollocks, it's not them. And it's nobody in this room. It's Trasker, man. No, who's paranoid? No. He wants what out, and he's stitching what up. Seems a bit extreme. Dennis, stump. Oh, stump, bollocks. Listen, you. As we are suffering the indignity of having our privacy violated, what about him, eh? Cos there's two keys, isn't there? And he's got the other one. Are you going to search his house? Evan? I've got nothing to hide. Found something under a bed. Hey! That's busted me. Hello. How's everything? That's a good pet. Sorry? I reckon we're for the chop. I've been summoned to see Mr. Turnbull. How awful. You were such a big hit at the reception. Well, we're all good at tell you that for nothing. Thought we'd crack it with this job. Set for life, you know. Mr. Patterson, Mr. Turnbull will see you now. <sighs> yeah. Here we go. Sit down, Dennis. This is a mess, isn't it? Well, it's not our doing. Tell you that for nothing. What is it between you guys and him? One of my lads had a dance with his wife in a club. And that's all? That's all. But not in his mind, you know? He's just blown it all out of proportion. Clearly, the situation is impossible. We're sending him back to the UK. Come again? You'll need these. Where'd you get them? Trasker's garage. Unbelievable. What did he say? A lot, mostly unprintable. He says he was set up. That's a complete load of bollocks when he was trying to set us up. Badly misfired. You're going to have to be in charge, OK? No problem. Look, you've got a great team here, Mr Turnbull. Good, because it might be a couple of weeks before his replacement arrives. Good luck. Whoever it is, make sure his wife doesn't like the rumba. Yo tenía que perder y he perdido contigo. ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Yo tenía que perder y he perdido contigo. Tantos amores buenos. Hello, Erica, of course. Oh, oh. Hello. Hi. We're having a goodbye drink. Mojitos, of course, the cliche of choice in Havana. Cheers. Cheers. So, what time are you actually off? Oh, tomorrow night. How, how do you feel about that? Oh, over the moon. How does your husband feel? I haven't asked him. Right, well, I suppose I'd better run. Got some packing to do. 
You will be uh, in London next month, then? Sometime, almost certainly. And you'll... Of course. Still seem pretty pally. We've had our moment. A few of them in this very hotel. So what am I doing here? Celebration, Neville. Problem solved. Traska off your back. I can't believe he didn't hide those plans better. I mean, he told them that they could search his house. We didn't know they were there. What? Well, Erica put them in the garage. How will she get a hold of them? For God's sake, Neville, I pinched the bloody things. Sneaking in at dead of night, bit cloak and dagger for my taste. Still, I suppose it came my hand in. So Trusco was innocent. I mean, I didn't like the man, but it's a bit below the belt, isn't it? A pain in the arse. A dead set on getting rid of the lot of you. You'll be better off in London, and so will Erica. You'll be sorry to see her go, by the look of it. No, nah, not really. She's getting a little clingy. Calls in the middle of the night, when am I going to see you, that sort of thing. No, this works out best for all of us. It's true what they say about you, lad. What do they say about me? That you're a total shit. <laughs> I've been called worse. Anyway, now we know you're here to stay, it's time for you to get your feet wet. Feet wet? Something's in the pipeline. It's going to take a little cunning on your part and some nerve. But let's remember, this is the real reason you're here. Very, uh, it's very Cuban. Oh, no, 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 no. 